It's actually happening. It's finally going to freaking happen. The big one. There has been so much rumors and leaks talking about a major PlayStation showcase, which was supposed to be happening at some point this month. And now we know it's actually tomorrow. But let's talk about that. What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day because mine just got instantly 10 times better. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. To be honest, I kind of want to stream this just because I'm that excited about it. But what is it? So PlayStation just tweeted out that the state of play is returning tomorrow, September 13th, and it is going to be airing at... 3 p.m. Pacific time. For me, that's 5 p.m. And it's going to be revealing new updates for PS5, PS4, and PSVR 2. Now, immediately, the first thing that jumps to mind is, first and foremost, they're actually going head-to-head -head against a Nintendo Direct, which I don't think has ever happened. Typically, Sony likes to let their own announcements breathe. It seems like they sort of try and plan stuff to not actually butt heads against another industry. Their trailers, their talk can trend on Twitter. But here specifically, they actually even replied, Big Day Tomorrow, I emoji, to this Nintendo of America announcement of their presentation. Now, additionally, if you'll notice, they did release this just saying, hey, we're going to be doing this. It's interesting that they're specifically saying that this is leading into Tokyo Game Show. So right now over in Japan, um, there's this big thing that happens. It's sort of like E3 in Japan. And a lot of times this talks about a bunch more Japanese focused games. Think about JRPGs. Think about games like uh, Elden Ring, stuff like that. A lot of great playing games and stuff like Ace Combat. Basically, a lot of Japanese studios really kind of flexing their might specifically to the worldwide market. Well, it's kind of interesting that they're sort of just saying here that this is going to be a big deal. This is going to be great updates from our Japanese partners, along with a few surprises from developers all around the world. Now, what immediately strikes me is the fact that this is not a dedicated state of play. Typically, whenever they're doing those, they really hype it up as that specifically, saying it's going to be a Gran Turismo state of play or a God of War Ragnarok state of play. So the fact that this is a general PlayStation presentation, to me, that is a great sign because there's been a lot of talks specifically from a lot of these leakers that have been incredibly accurate that it sounds like we could be seeing Spider-Man 2 gameplay, but also interesting stuff. So this guy here, the insider, real insider has been tweeting out a bunch of very interesting leaks. Um, I've been going through his account. Now in the last week, a lot of his predictions about the leaks involving things along the Assassin's Creed and stuff like that have been accurate. Well, it looks like some of his hints are that we're going to be getting a Resident Evil 4 remake demo in the same way that we got a demo for the Resident Evil 2 remake and the Resident Evil 3 remake. That's pretty cool. But he's also teased stuff like Silent Hill. It sounds like Silent Hill could finally be revealed, even if not at this PlayStation showcase, perhaps at... Tokyo Game Show. Obviously, Konami is trying to make some sort of comeback. And speaking of Konami, there's been a lot of rumblings about a possible Metal Gear Solid remake. I mean, let's face it, a lot of people very much despise whatever Konami's been up to. They're pretty much just selling water bottles and a lot of big fluff lately. That could be their big effort to get back into the gaming industry. So what's funny is even while I'm filming this video, they just released a tiny bit of extra information, which is that this is going to be about 20 minutes long, covering 10 upcoming games. So, man, this is extremely cool. Less than 24 hours notice. That's unexpected. I'll be tuning in. Hmm. <laughs> I just like all the react emojis. God of War fighting Zelda. This is, uh, tomorrow is going to be very, very, very epic. This is going to be very, very intense. I'm very, very optimistic. Honestly, I feel like PlayStation has been strangely silent. They haven't actually been coming out here and talking up how big of a deal their sales have been. Right now, I haven't made a video about it, but uh, PlayStation 5 is actually one of the highest selling and profiting consoles on the planet. So it seems like they're really burning up the market. They've actually been churning out more uh, production. They're flooding store shelves as best as possible. It does seem like this is sort of prepping for that huge holiday push, which even if you already have a PlayStation 5, this is kind of the exciting time. I mean, I'm hoping specifically we do see stuff like, uh, I don't know, Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2 gameplay. Uh, they actually had some little teases about Kingdom Hearts 4, which is bonkers. They're even making that uh, during the uh, Disney showcase. So it does seem like there is a surprising amount of stuff that could show up. 
some stuff that I feel like boils my brain the most is what if we end up seeing a tease for like Wolverine gameplay? <laughs> like, I know that PlayStation is going to probably try and keep it very, very tight and focused on games that are coming out relatively soon. Uh, PlayStation and Square Enix both have gotten a lot of blowback for showing what are practically JPEG logos on a game that doesn't come out for five years. But it, to me, it would be cool if they at least did a little bit of a showcase. We're probably going to see a bunch of Forspoken. Today, they even dropped a bunch of new gameplay teases. They actually did a bunch of, like, impressions videos with a lot of the major YouTubers and websites and stuff. It does feel like, because this is Tokyo Game Show, I think Forspoken is definitely going to be dominating. The new Star Ocean game is definitely going to be dominating. There's been all sorts of rumors as well about Valkyrie Elysium getting a demo that's already on the PlayStation Store. I bet that's going to be freaking shadow dropped tomorrow. Honestly, the fact that this is at 5 p.m. and 20 minutes long, I'm expecting a lot of, like, Here's the game, here's the trailer, here's the pre-order, play it and buy it now. Here's a game, here's a trailer, here's the ability to buy it now. And that to me is great. I'm really glad that PlayStation has been pushing these demos so much lately, e even beyond just their game trials and stuff. I hope that they actually let us play these games. Man, if we see Silent Hill tomorrow, I I'm going to lose it. If, if we, I, I, I don't even want to make a bet. I mean, if, if this video gets like 5,000 likes, maybe I'll stream the thing tomorrow. And if we see Silent Hill, I'm going to rip a shirt off or something. I mean, I'm literally going to lose my mind. There's been so many leaks talking about a Silent Hill remake, a new Silent Hill game that's apparently more based on short stories. So a bunch of like tiny people getting stuck in Silent Hill. <sighs> the potential is practically endless. Well, what do you guys think about this? Are you as excited as I am? What's the tippity top of the list? We're probably not going to see any God of War Ragnarok. We're probably not going to hear any DLC talk for something like uh, Horizon Forbidden West DLC or anything like that. But since they are talking about PSVR, there is a good chance we could see Horizon Call of the Mountain and that new shooter they're working on with Fire Sprite. Mm. There's a lot of good times ahead. So tomorrow, 24 hours from right this very second, when you're watching this video... It is going to be epic. This is it. The big one. The PlayStation Showcase that's been talked about finally is here. You guys rock. Have a great day. And I am going to keep dreaming. You better well as well. All right. Back to Splatoon. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.